this is Sean from Diamond Talks. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to branch out a little bit and I wanted to review my Trickers Stow Boot. So this is the Trickers website. They have an outlet as well if, if you're interested to, uh, you know, for sales and, and things like that. But um, the company was founded in 1829, as it, as it says in this, on the screen, and it is apparently Britain's oldest shoe company. Uh, worn by Prince Charles, nonetheless, though, um, perhaps like me, you, you won't be taking um, fashion advice from His Royal Highness. Um, so yeah, my, my um, boots are like the ones on the screen, the Stowe, and I thought I'd have a little bit of a discussion of these. So... These boots have existed since 1829 and they're, they're what, what you call country boots. So basically what that means, well, it's pretty obvious, but it means that you, you wear them while walking around in the country and they're not, not intended to be mega smart, but nowadays obviously people wear them in, in, in kind of different environments and, and, and things like that. They are Goodyear welted, which essentially Goodyear welting is a process used to join the sole to the upper. So basically there's a little ribbon of leather between the sole and the upper, which both are stitched to. And it's a, a process that you find on more expensive, um, better quality footwear. And basically it allows it to be more easily repaired throughout the lifetime of the shoe. And also gives you better waterproofing, which is great if you want a practical shoe. And all of these boots are handmade in Northampton. So these, these are mine, um, they are, are beech nut burnished calf leather. Um, I take a size 10 and the last is an S, which um, the first time I ever bought a, a relatively expensive pair of shoes, I was, I was not 100% sure what the last was, but basically it's the, the thing that, that you put the shoes on when they're being made. And this one is true to size, so I am a size 10 in most shoes. And I, t I take a size 10 in these, which, which is um, well to be expected, I guess. Um, so just a quick look at the box. You've got a fancy little box. Um, they weren't called trickers originally. I, I can't remember exactly what they were called. Um, one thing you have to do with these shoes, you have to look after them. So I've got a bunch of them um, polishing things. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not one for really polishing shoes and looking after things in general. So I've got to force myself. To be honest, I've only po polished them once. I've also read that you shouldn't over polish shoes. So you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, really. Just a quick look at the label here. A lot of the stuff's handwritten, which is quite a nice touch. And then on to looking at my particular shoes. So I bought these in early October. They've held up quite well. I, I polished them once, but obviously I could probably do a better job of looking after them. But they still look pretty good to me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a particularly smart guy, so I don't, I don't like things that are overly polished, overly shiny. Um, these, the retail price is £445, so they are very expensive. I bought them from a shop called Herring Shoes. I'm not 100% sure where that is, but you can find it online. I bought them online for £330. They're in the sale. With this, it doesn't matter too much if you buy a sale item because they've pretty much been the same since 1830. So, the, the colour, the name of the colours changed a little bit, so, so that that's the only thing that's different. I've got a bit of a mark there for when I wore them having a beer, um, so that'll be there for life. So you've got to look after these things, make sure you do. Um, so in terms of um, other things to bear in mind, so I would wear a shoe tree. I'd use a shoe tree in, in these shoes to help keep the shape. I wouldn't recommend Tricker shoe trees because I bought a pair for £52 and actually broke soon after. I had to get a refund. They were very good about it, but you know, these are £9 from Amazon, so I'd, I'd just go with them. Just bear in mind as well, there's a variety of sole options, three main ones with this boot. Um, leather sole, which I didn't go with because I, I, I wouldn't buy a leather sole shoe because I just I wear them too hard and I'm too much of a klutz, so I'd, I'd ruin them. A day night sole, which is a thicker rubber sole, which is a little bit more practical, which is what I went with. And there's also a commando sole, which is even thicker and perhaps a little bit harder to break in, but the most hard wearing probably if that's what you're looking for. So in terms of um, the pros and cons of these shoes, one pro I found is no breaking. I mean, I owned a pair of Doc Martens once and they absolutely killed me. I thought I was going to die when I, when I wore them. These didn't at all. Straight out of the box, they were really comfortable. They last a lifetime. They're stylish, not too smart. You can pretty much wear them with anything, disregarding um, really smart dress pants. 
and the, the quality is, is amazing, excellent quality shoe in general, but the leather is really soft, really buttery smooth. In terms of the cons, they're clearly expensive. My wife nearly divorced me when I said how much they were. You'll have to look after them, you know, shoe trees, polishing them, things like that. Here's a picture of me uh, modeling them <laughs> just to show you what they look like with jeans. And I've scratched them, so, you know, you've got to look after them a little bit. Um, so, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you like the video. Bye bye.